look good though. <laughs> Do I not? Do I not? <laughs> That's what I thought. Hi guys, my name is Jeannie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna review the Haas Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation and I have this in the shade 450. If you guys are interested in seeing how this foundation looks on my skin, then keep on watching. But before you do that, please a like and subscribe. And when the video is done, please comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about the foundation. Do you like it? Are you gonna be picking it up or passing on this launch? Let me know down in the comments down below. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video. So today I have the Haas Labs foundation. This is the foundation from Lady Gaga and this has been going crazy on TikTok and all over social media so I had to go get it. I want to get right into some of the specs. I have the shade 450. It's a medium deep with rosy peach undertones. So that's the shade that I went for. I found it kind of difficult to find my shade in the store. I was swatching on my chest but there were like it had kind of like a grayish look on my chest so i wasn't sure about this foundation at first so the shade i ended up going with was 450 that was the shade that looked the best and it definitely did not look great when i put it on the skin but i do want to get into a demo let me just read a few specs about the foundation it's supposed to be a medium coverage weightless clean foundation with fermented arnica that reduces redness helps even skin tone and protects from environmental stress so this is supposed to be like a skin care infused foundation just like a lot of the foundations that have launched this year it's supposed to be medium coverage and it's a liquid formulation and the finish is natural so it's a natural finish it's not supposed to be too glowy or too matte this foundation is considered a clean foundation at sephora so if that's important to you those are good things to know i think it should be really good for people with acne prone skin this foundation is supposed to have long wearing performance without compromising your skin it's a weightless serum like texture blurs textures and pores for a natural skin like finish that wears for 12 plus hours with no slipping or caking and those are some really big claims so let's get into the demo so you guys can see for yourself as that you can use the Haas Labs foundation brush of course I didn't get that I usually never get any extra brushes I have a lot of tools I use the elf camo sponge to blend out this foundation I'm also going to use this brush just so you guys can see how it glides on you guys can use your fingers if you feel more comfortable with that but I'm going to use this today so let's see how that looks so this is 450, this is one pump. And I don't have a primer, but I might apply a primer to the other side of my face. Look at the texture of this foundation, guys. Like the hype is definitely real. The the texture of it, it just makes your skin look so good. So I just applied it with a flat brush and I'm gonna go in with my camel sponge and blend it out. side with the Haas Labs foundation and this is with nothing so you guys can see like how beautiful the finish of this foundation is it's so skin like it reminds me of the NARS light reflecting but even more even more blurring than that it has a really really nice blurring effect like I have some hyperpigmentation on this side and it blurs it without being cakey and it's also not too glowy so I really love this finish. It's such a nice finish and look at this color match. At first, like I said in the store, I had issues. I wasn't sure which shade was mine. It was between 450 or 470, but I'm glad I went with 450 because this is like a dead on match. Like it's a really good shade for me and it covers so beautifully. Definitely medium coverage for sure. And it doesn't even feel like anything on the skin. So I really like this. On this side, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Primer just to give you guys an idea of how it interacts with some primers. 
Okay guys, so I have the primer on this side of my face and I'm gonna go in with another pump so you guys can see because I do have a lot more blemishes and acne marks here. I'm also currently breaking out, so this is a better side for you guys to see like how much this foundation can really cover. Hey guys, so I finished the rest of my application and you can see how nicely it covers this side that has a little bit more acne marks. It covers it just as nicely and I'm really impressed with how this foundation looks. I love the finish of it. It is so beautiful and skin-like. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use my Born This Way concealer and I'm also gonna set with a one size powder. Okay guys, so I have my concealer on and I'm gonna just set it with a one size powder and my little powder puff. I'm mostly gonna set around my eyes and my laugh lines. Okay, so I mostly just set around under my eyes and like around my laugh lines, but I kept kind of these areas a little bit more radiant. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna come back, show you guys the wear test and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, I'm back. And this is the finished look. I love how my skin looks with this foundation on right now. I think it looks so good. I'm in love with this foundation. I think that it's such a nice foundation. I think that the claims are true. It's definitely a medium coverage and it definitely has a blurring property that is so beautiful when you initially apply it to the skin, you see it. And if you don't set the foundation, it might be even more glowy for you. It depends on how you decide to set it. If you set it with a more matte powder or if you set it with a slight finishing powder, you may be able to get a little bit more glow out of it, but I love how my face looks right now. It's truly a natural finish. I don't feel like the foundation increases the look of my texture, so I really like that. Also did a wear test, which I'm gonna show you guys in the next clip. This is from when I went to work. I wore the foundation from about six a.m. to 5 p.m. so that gives you guys a good length of time so you guys can see how the foundation wore on my skin. So I'm on my lunch break and I was trying to get footage before but I'm literally trying to hide my camera because I feel like I'm in a kind of sketchy neighborhood but anyway so I've been like wearing this foundation since 6 o'clock this morning and it's like around 1 30 and this is how it looks like usually I get super oily right here and it's just like a little bit oily like on my nose like a little bit like there's a little bit right there but there's not much usually I have to like blot and like look how not oily my skin looks like it looks so good it looks so good this is my second day wearing it and I wore it till seven o'clock yesterday and it wore really well and I've been running around all day so like this is saying something like I haven't just been sitting in my bed like I've been working I've been out I've been doing stuff and look how good it still looks like I'm really impressed I'm really really impressed and this is with no primer guys like no primer so let me like try to close up so you guys can see so it's about like one o'clock now so i'm gonna like probably check in one more time before um i go to bed maybe like around five or something like that i'm home and i wanted to show you guys how my face was looking because i just left the bar and normally i don't feel comfortable enough to go straight out to the bar after work because like i feel like i need to go home shower and like freshen up my makeup but my makeup was like kind of sitting so i was just like you know what let's go out you look good i just blotted my face around my nose with the fenty beauty um invisimap powder if you guys haven't gotten the invisimap powder i don't know what you're waiting for because it is super good 
but I am looking a little bit more shiny. I've been walking around, it's really hot now. You know how fall is, it just gets so much hotter later in the day, so, you know, it's showing a little bit. But honestly, I'm very oily, and I'd be looking crazy after a full day of work, plus going out. I've been on the train, I've been doing all of that, okay? There's been lots of energies and air and temperatures. So I feel like I'm looking really good for all of that considered. Let me give you guys some close-ups. Like you can see that it's like, you know, it's oily around here, but it, to me it's not really breaking up that much because I've had foundations do a lot more than this. It's just like kind of shiny, but this is, I mean, right now it's like five o'clock. So I've been wearing this since six. So I would say this looks pretty good. All I would need to do probably is blot it some more. So I have my little powder. I'm gonna take my little powder puff. Doesn't that not instantly look a lot better and all I did was just blot? with some of the Invisimat. I'm gonna give you the final thoughts at the end of my video, but this is my little wear test. So hopefully you guys found it helpful because I've actually never done one on my channel before. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments down below and I will continue on with the video. Guys, right, so you saw how my foundation lasted. I barely needed to touch up through the day. It just got a little bit oily around my nose area. The foundation looked so good that I felt like I could go straight from work to going out without really needing to touch it up or like do a whole new face. All I needed to do was blot around my nose and my chin area and it looked really, really good. Since my brother's here, I'm gonna ask him what he thinks. Marcus, what do you think about my foundation? It's busted! I mean, it looks great. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. No, do, what do you think? Does it look really good or? No, it looks, it looks natural, but like it, it still looks, um, I don't know, kind of like airbrushed-ish. Ooh, he said airbrushed, okay. I know adjectives. Yes, I think I think it looks really good too. I actually do feel like my skin looks super smooth. So, okay, he said it looked airbrushed. So if you guys wanna get an airbrush finish, then I would say go ahead and pick it up, give it a try. You have nothing to lose because this foundation is a bomb. The hype is real. If you have any questions, I'll answer them and I'll see you guys later. Bye.